G'day guys, today I'm going to be making a few Lazy Susans and these are the victims that I've selected. Okay, I'm going to be using Type 1 3 today. Pretty good. Oh, it's a messy job, isn't it? And it's hard work too. <sighs> so this contraption here is a router trammel. Not much different to a, a compass or the pencil trammel that I was using earlier to mark the mark the circles out. All it does is it, it, it rotates on a fixed point in the centre. Instead of having a pencil here, it's a router, so I'll be able to cut this edge to a perfect circle all the way around. I've ended up with one at about 450mm diameter, this is about 475 and these two are 498mm in diameter. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a 183 end over on the top and bottom on this one to keep maximum working area and on these three, the three bigger ones, I'll put a half inch rounder up, a half inch round over on the top and a 1 8 inch round over on the bottom just to ease the edge and Give it a bit of style. I can't find a left hand thread face plate to go onto my lathe here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the hand wheel that's on my lathe as a bit of a friction chuck. So that's going to sit into here and that picks up centre there and there's a dowel in the middle of this picking up centre between this bit of timber and this disc here. And all I'm going to do is put this through, through the spindle there and I'll have a washer and a nut on the other end. Do that nut, oh, nice and tight. And now, instead of having a hand sand like this for a month of Sundays, I can, let me just turn this on. much, much easier.
So I've gone through and put two coats of Danish oil on this top, top and bottom, and I've let that cure for about, about a week. And now I'm going to put two, uh, probably about three or four coats of this uh, polyurethane. It's just Minwax polyurethane, uh, clear satin. I'm gonna spray that on here. So I just finished the first coat of polyurethane. Now this one in front of us, I've only just done that. You can kind of see that it's kind of really shiny and wet. But this one, I did this one first. This one's been sitting here for about, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And it's the, the polyurethane has flattened out. It's drying quite quickly today because it's very hot in here. And so now I'm just going to rub it out to make them all smooth. Now, this is, it, I haven't rubbed this one out yet, or I haven't rubbed any of these three out yet, and you can, you can hear just how rough those are. This one I have rubbed out, and you can hear the difference, just, I'm not, like even if I push hard, you can, you can definitely hear the difference. And so, I've gone for a nice satin sheen, I don't know how well this will show up, there we go, got the nice light floating across it. Perfect. Now this steel wool is oil is, is lubricated with the oil. And that's it there. Let's see if we can get a sh light. Yeah, I'm in the wrong position. Now I'll just do the edges in the bottom. Perfectly centre, or very, very close to. Well, there we go, they're all finished. Now this one is Tasmanian Oak, Tasmanian Myrtle, Tas Tassie Oak, Tassie Myrtle, Tassie Oak. This one is, well the same again, but this one's a little bit, you can see the difference between this board of Tassie Oak and this board of Tassie Oak. This one's a little bit brown, this one's more, well, it's lighter. And this one, if I get this light out of the way, gosh. This one's Tasmanian Myrtle, Tasmanian Blackwood, Myrtle, Blackwood, Myrtle. This one I like quite a lot. It's got a lot of, a lot of feature through the, the Myrtle there. And this one is Tasmanian Oak, Myrtle, Oak, Myrtle, Oak, Myrtle, Oak. This one has the square edge, well, squarish edge. And they all come up really, really nicely. I'm quite happy with them. So, thanks all for watching. And if you've got any questions or comments or anything, just leave them down below in the comment selection. And if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to do that. It, actually, it helps me out quite a lot. And consider subscribing to my channel because there's more fun and games to come.